Welcome back to another weekly stock market update. Today is July 12th, 2024. I'm so glad you're here. What a great week. Finally, we're getting some really cool weeks, a couple in a row. Things are moving up. We got record highs on lots of the indexes and we got stocks breaking out all over the place. You've been watching any of my videos lately and I've been putting out quite a few because there's lots of opportunities out there. I hope you're getting to take advantage of some of them. Uh, but by and large, this market is just rocking and rolling. Let me um, let me go ahead and share my screen and figure out what the heck is going on here. All right, here we go. All right, so what we have is, uh, today is the 12th of July, so what's going on here? Okay, so we've got four green lights. You can see now we're kind of in the middle of a green period, and the Fed's talk and the PPI and all the other whatever indicators that, you know, you can't really believe uh, is making the market go up and hit these record highs. So while we're all paying a lot more money at the grocery store and at the pump and in our houses and in our lives, uh, these markets are melting up. That's what happens in these inflationary markets, right? If you've got money to be in the market, this is how you can take advantage of it. And that's the problem that the politicians are saying. That's separating the poor from the rich. Yeah, if you've got a little extra uh, money to put in the market, um, yes, you're spending it on the on your groceries, but the extra money is going into the market and you're getting richer because you're able to take advantage of some of these upward trending prices. And the more the Fed and the more the Treasury and the more the governments around the world print money, which is what they have to do, there are no other choices unless they bankrupt and default on the debt, they are soft defaulting on the debt by printing money, which means prices are going to keep going up. I did a, a video a couple of weeks ago that I said, look, if you're not getting 11.1%, you're not even keeping up with inflation. I don't care what they say it is. If you're not getting 11.1%, sorry, you're going backwards. That's just to keep up. You've got to get ahead with that extra money. So unfortunately, now you can't put your money into a mutual fund and make you know 8% a year. You've got to be making you know 20%. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. So you got to have a strategy to do that. All right. So we've got some green lights. Here's uh, here's Tesla is on a breakout right now. Um, sorry, this is wrong, wrong screen. The Nasdaq is at uh, near an all time high. It just pulled back yesterday because weird stuff happened yesterday. Bunch of stocks went down. Nvidia down. Apple down. Uh, Tesla down huge. Bunch of stocks went down. But we're we're kind of looking like we're staying at the highs. S and P 500 same thing. Right just underneath of the all-time high today. Uh, it'll probably hit it in the next couple of days ago unless something drastic happens in the market, which with this crazy presidential situation, you never know. Um, the Dow Jones is right about to break a new high. Maybe it'll hold at this time uh, at $40,000 plus. The New York Stock Exchange Composite just made a brand new high. This is, this is good stuff. This is good stuff everywhere. So we got four markets all working in collusion and, and uh, confluence. We've got the VIX going down to kind of a low here in the 12s, pretty close to a record low on this chart. And then we've got the Dow Jones transport average with the gap up today above the 50 and above the 200. Finally healthy and finally going to lead the Dow up, uh, which is why you see the Dow kind of moving in that direction. Healthcare is going crazy. So if something's going on in healthcare. Maybe it's this crazy bird flu they're going to be thrusting upon us and you know make the animals get jabbed and make us get jabbed. I don't know, but there's kind of something going on in healthcare, especially in the biotech. This is the biotech index, a couple of gap ups, and then seven straight days or six straight days of up. I don't know what's going on. Something something funky going on, but I can tell you what's going on on the other side. The uh, airline index is going down. That's an index that says, hey, this is recessionary. Things are We're not traveling as much. Maybe it's because things are getting more expensive, but you're seeing a death cross right in here that happened uh, you know, about a week ago. And, you know, things are not good in the airline business. You remember, I don't know if you've, if you've been watching my market updates, this uh, this little downdraft that you can barely see on the left side, it was, but all of a sudden it kind of crashed. And uh, and I said, it was probably going to revert to the mean, which it did, it overshot. And now we're going back down the other way. And I don't know why. Sure seems like the economy's okay, but maybe under the covers, uh, things are not so pretty. Okay, the gold bugs index, this is inflationary. So 
that means that the you know the the Fed will lower rates or they're going to print more money. Whatever it is, this is inflationary. We all are feeling the inflation. The gold bugs index is going higher. Apple is on a breakout. I've been talking about this breakout since 199,200. Hopefully you caught some of it because it hit 233 yesterday um, or the day before. Apple is on a breakout. Nvidia, wonderful. On you know, it's not on a breakout. It's actually in the third stage of a you know, third stage base, which is a little bit later stage base. So it's not going to have as much strength going higher. Although I, it does look like it's making cause for going higher. Maybe making a little cup with a handle here, um, right on this chart. There's a cup with a little handle, so it may break out near the top of this chart, uh, 138 or 140, something like that. Tesla is on a breakout. Had a gap away. It tried to fill the gap away this morning. Uh, stock went crazy because of some news that they were going to do this robo taxi release. And then they said, no, we're going to push it out a couple months. And that's just Tesla. That's just the way it goes. And so this stock was huge down yesterday, closed near the bottom of its range, opened down this morning, and now it's popping back up with a nice little hammer candle. This stock is in the middle of a breakout. And I think it's been pushed down for so long that it's going to pop. Uh, we'll see. On semiconductor, in the semiconductor business, things are kind of looking good. This one was under the 200-day moving average for the whole year here, basically. And now it's finally starting to uh, to increase back above that. So that's good. Amazon is uh, is trying to get up above that $200 level. It's having a little bit of trouble. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with Amazon. I just think yesterday kind of it was in sympathy with the market. JP Morgan and the banks uh, in an inflationary environment, in a, in a rate reduction environment, are going to be doing well. Um, Kava Group, which is a restaurant, is back to its 50-day moving average. So uh, keep an eye out on that one if you're into restaurants, because this may be an alternate buy point. But I'd, I'd like to see a little of that selling get taken out of the way um, before I'd start buying the Kava, because I don't like five down days without some kind of confirmation that things are going to go back up. So... Enough for me. I hope you uh, have a fantastic weekend. I always thank you for tuning into the market update. Um, if you like what we're doing, you know, give me a like at the bottom, a subscribe to the channel, uh, give me a comment. I always love comments. You guys have been great on comments lately. So uh, always happy to uh, answer comments. If you've got any questions, you want me to do something for you next week? Uh, you know, I'm happy to do whatever. I mean, I'm, my goal is just to have a bunch of people realize that it shouldn't be just the people on Wall Street making the money, but the rest of us should be able to make some too. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.